Prison is more than bad decisions and barbed wire. There are thousands of Oklahoma inmates who genuinely want to escape their past. This is my second time in prison, and I didn't learn anything the first time around, and this time I had to correct what I did not learn the first time, and it's just made me a better person. I'm just, I'm happy with myself. Even being in prison, I'm just happy with myself. Okay, so she shouldn't have treated me that way. After her second incarceration, Angela Velasquez was committed to re-entry. Is there anything on earth that is perfect? She has taken every class available to improve her circumstances. Communications, okay. parenting, anger management. Okay. <laughs> But getting a driver's license is a crucial step to life after prison, especially where public transportation is so limited. And we have to have it to go get jobs. I've already got a job lined up. And I live out in Edmond, so for me to drive from Edmond all the way to the Amazon plant would have been feasibly impossible. There's no bus, there's no nothing. Rather than languish in lines at the Department of Public Safety, DPS and DOC are partnering to help soon to be released offenders navigate the system. In the past, that they've waited till they, they get out, and then they have nothing, and they, they you can't get a job without anything like that, without any identification. So working with the Department of Corrections and DPS, we can you know, start the process well in advance. The inmates are escorted to DPS. Are we ready? We're ready. Using money provided by local nonprofits. Did you smile big? Yeah, I did. <laughs> to get their driver's licenses reinstated. I'll be able to get a job and I'll be able to go to church, see my family, get all around, you know, the usual. I'm pretty excited about it. Back to life. Back to life, yes. This initiative is still in its infancy, but it could be expanded as more offenders prepare for early release under the state's new criminal justice reform. We would all agree that on a daily basis, we all have the need for a driver's license or an ID card just to do the simple things that are required in society every day. And so this is just one step more that we can do to help them become better prepared um, to become productive citizens. Perfect timing for Angela Velasquez, who is more than ready to begin a better life beyond the wire. <laughs> She's ready to go. I have a <laughs>